Hello everybody, uh, Super String Man here. Uh, just today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to use our new soundboard add-on. Um, the add-ons in general require a subscription to BrainBot, so advanced or above, because uh, they all use our what we're calling professional API, which has uh, real -time, uh, various real-time events that you can hook into. So let's get started. Um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to support.brainbot.com and go down to resources and here you see the soundboard cleaned up as a new version uh, that we put together click there and we have our download now button all right I'm gonna click that all right I'm gonna go take a look all right so we downloaded soundboard.zip so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this file and just drop it in a directory I made um, my documents add-ons here uh, you can put this anywhere in your computer. It doesn't matter where it is. Uh, when we go to use it later, we can um, load it from any location. All right, so I put that here. I'm going to extract it. Great. Now, what we're going to do next is go over how to change some of these uh, some of these files here to get you going. There's only a couple of steps, um, but I think once everybody sees it, it'll be a lot easier. Um, we include instructions here. I'll be putting a link to this tutorial in there as well and has uh, just a written set of instructions on how to use everything. So the first thing we're going to do is open up this uh, token.txt file. Um, this is the integration token we're going to put in here, uh, which is going to be used at least somewhere in every add-on that you download and try and use. Um, I'm going to try and keep it so it's a token.txt is always kind of in this main directory here, so you can always find it. Um, uh, hoping, hopefully, if anybody else makes these add-ons, we'll do the same thing. All right, now where do we get this token from? Well, we go over to brainbot.com and go to off-screen account. Okay, so you got all these uh, settings here. Now you go under integration, and you'll see a long integration token here. Uh, a bunch of characters. We're going to copy and paste that back into our token.txt file. And that's it as far as this part goes. Uh, we don't have to touch anything else. We don't have to put that token anywhere. We just drop it in that file and save it. Okay. The next part, which is I think the trickier part, is dealing with the settings. So we're going to go back into here and open up our settings file. Now there's a lot in here, but you know I think the Basics are fairly easy. Um, I'm first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to comment out these lines. I'll be updating it so they're already commented in the next version of the add-on. Um, but they just show some examples that you can do. But let's build out our own. So let's say to start off, we want to do something simple. Uh, somebody types in a command and plays a sound, right? So I want to make a command called grenade, and I'm going to have it use a sound file. Okay. And the third setting here is the number of points a command costs to run. I would leave this zero uh, generally since now we have a store. I'll do a video on that later. Um, and that'll give the proper feedback, etc. The last setting is for bits, you know, the cheering system. We're going to leave that zero as well. We don't want to mess with that here. So that's it. So in order to do this, we just list the command that we're going to end up using and then the sound file. And that's it. And then we can put as many of these as we want on separate lines. Okay. So I'm going to save this. Next thing I'm going to do here is grab my grenade sound here. I downloaded this earlier. So let me copy that. And now in your main directory for the soundboard where you unzip, you'll see the sounds right folder here. I'm just going to drop my sound file in there. Okay. So all the sound files that you want to use, you just drop them right in here. Um, the directory is created for you when you unzip. Uh, there's a couple other files here. They, they don't matter. As long as you don't reference them, they're ignored. Okay. So that's it for the soundboard side to play a sound. Now, how do we use that command? Okay. So if we go back to BrainBot here uh, and go down the off-screen command section, we're going to add a command. Okay. So any command that goes through the API has to be a normal BrainBot command that you create. Um, if not, they don't get pushed through. So let's say we want subscribers and followers, 
you know, maybe moderators use this command. So, you know, non-followers, they can't use it. Now, when somebody types in a command, if they have access according to these you know, switches here, it will output like a normal command, um, but also send it across through the API, which means our soundboard will pick it up. Uh, I'm going to leave the output blank because I don't want it to spam anything. I just want it to play a sound every time somebody types it in. Okay. So again, remember, if they don't have access here, it won't go through. Okay. So I'm going to save that command. Okay, so that means you know, most people will be able to use it. Now, I'm going to bring up OBS here. And now you just do a normal browser source in OBS. So going down here and add a browser source. I'm just going to call this one Sounds. Okay. All right. Now it's a local file. You know, it's not going to be a web page anywhere. So we check off local file. And we're going to browse for this file, right? So I'm in my soundboard directory here. And you're going to see a soundboard HTML. I'm just going to double click that. And now that should be good to go. Okay. Let me refresh this. Okay. I am still an OBS noob. So there we go. So we got this source in there and it's all cleared out. Now I'm going to go over to my channel and type in a grenade sound, grenade command. And hopefully this should play the sound. Okay. So that's pretty much it. Um, I'll probably do a separate video on how to do the cheers and the bits, um, but at least this one will get everybody going. Uh, if you have any questions, jump in Discord. Uh, I'll put the Discord link in the video description. And thanks again. Bye.